Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Growing Together Let's Play. So today is Jude's birthday, like it's really, really his birthday. The bar is glowing. So I've got Marina coming downstairs to make a birthday cake because I really don't want to miss Jude's birthday. I don't want him to age up on his own and then get like the little depressed moodlet. Um, ooh, and he just reached level five communication. Awesome. Um, he's almost there in imagination. Maybe we can get to that as well before Marina finishes the cake. So let's see what we can do with that. Where is Zinnia? Oh, she's on the floor. Oh no, she's sleeping in a puddle. What happened here? Zinnia, what happened? Well, she has zero hygiene, so I guess that kind of answers the question. Um, she's hungry, so let's at least have Alex feed her. I don't think he's going to have time to give her a bath, but if we can at least get her fed and then Marina can take care of... Um, can take care of giving her a bath in a minute, but we're going to age up Jude first. Beautiful Marina. Well done. So let's help Jude blow out the candles. I'm sorry, Alex, you're going to miss your son's birthday because of this situation. This is the furthest I've ever gotten a toddler alone. Like normally they're like levels one, two, there might be a three somewhere in there. It was pretty amazing. All right, Zinnia can, not Zinnia, you are Marina. Can you go get Jude and bring him to blow out the candles? All right, Jude, it's your time to shine. Whoop. Um, all right, we're, I guess we're going to randomize the trait and see what we get. Um, he's level two in everything. He starts out good. So he's got perfectionist. I don't know, because he was fussy. He was an intense infant. He was a fussy toddler. I kind of feel like something like hot-headed might be better. Yeah, I think we're going to go with hot-headed. I don't necessarily want him to be mean. And then we're going to give him one of the new kid aspirations. Let's do playtime, Captain. I haven't played with these new aspirations at all. So this will be fun. All right, Jude, excellent work. Okay, cool. And then Marina, can you... Yeah, can you give Zinnia a bath real quick? Are you gonna do that? Yes, something is nasty, Zinnia stinks. Marina is giving Zinnia a bath before she heads off to work. She's only got like three minutes. Is Jude going to get left home, at lone, home alone with Zinnia or is Zinnia gonna go to daycare? That's a question I have. No, she needs to go to work. Oh, she's being weird about going to work. Go, go to work. Just put, take the baby to daycare. We can hire a nanny or something. Put Zinnia down. Go to, or are you going to take Zinnia to work with you? Okay. Put Zinnia down. Go to work. All right, I think, I think it's working. Oh, Aaron's coming over, so maybe Aaron can be like the adult. Ooh, yes, send to daycare. We gave Jude a, just a real quick little makeover. But he's up here playing in the treehouse. He's going to play pretend. I can't remember which one. Oh, fairy tale castle. And then he's going to ring the bell. Alex did some of these upgrades. I think there's more he can still do. But I'm... I think the treehouse is pretty cool. It's huge. And the Sims love being in it an unreasonable amount. But I think it's pretty cool. All right, we gave Jude a quick little room makeover so he can go take a nap. Silas is back from school and exhausted. But because Silas is back, that means Zinnia is also back. And yeah, she seems to be having a lot of her own issues. She seems to have hit a milestone. Oh, she learned how to crawl. Maybe daycare benefited her after all. Like the way they kind of fall when they're crawling. That's so cute. I just kind of want her to um, fall asleep on the rug. I didn't want to just leave her on the wood floor. But since everyone else is napping, no one can carry her upstairs and she's really tired. Oh, 
look, Alex is home. He's here to rescue you. So let's let's give Zinnia a nap, Alex. Can we do that? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, wait, she's asleep now. Okay, fine. We'll just leave her on the floor. That's fine. I wanted to try finger foods. Let's see if we can do that. Just like really quick. Oh, here comes the airplane. Oh, Zinnia did not like. Oh, she's a picky eater. Of course she is. Okay, well, Alex, hang on, hang on, Alex, Alex, hang on. Don't go to the treehouse. Can you clean up this dish, please? Do you think she'll just sleep in her high chair all night? That's probably not comfortable, huh? All right, so it's uh, it's one in the morning, and as usual, half the family is just up and hanging out. So <laughs> Alex made some strawberry pancakes that look super good, and he's just sitting around with Jude and Silas, talking about like TV and all kinds of stuff like that. Just general interest. Now Marina's awake too. She's not really hungry, she just needed a shower, so she might be able to go back to bed. Jude does not look happy with the way the conversation's going. And Alex can be like, you'll be okay. Let's do it. What is he? Oh, he's just like riled up. I feel that. Sometimes you just look at your kid and you're like, look, I know this weird perceived thing has you upset, but it's, you're, you're going to be fine. All right, and to end out this episode, I think I want to age Zinnia up. Yeah, it's her birthday today. So let's go ahead and... Do you think she cares if she gets a cake? I mean, she's really little. I don't think she'll mind. So let's go ahead and do that. Marina, would you do the honors or are you too hungry? Would you rather have Alex do it? So, Alex, can you come wake Zinnia up? All right, let's see what kind of toddler we end up with. So let's age her up and let's see, see how it goes. So she was sensitive as an infant. Now she's independent. I don't know. Are there, I mean, we don't have a lot of infant traits, I guess. Um, I kind of feel like she would maybe be clingy. Independent could make sense. You know, maybe Zinnia kind of like grew into her own as she got into that toddler stage. Quirk revealed destructive. Fantastic. That's really great news. So here's Miss Zinnia. She's dancing, tearing things up, crying. She is a whole mood. All right, so with that, with Jude now as a child and Zinnia as a toddler, we're going to call that the end of this episode. In the next one, we'll give Zinnia a little bit of a makeover to start, and um, we'll see if we can get more toddler quirks revealed. We already know she's destructive. She's independent, so I'm interested to see how these all work together for her. But if you like this episode, please remember to like, subscribe if you would like to see more, and as always, please leave me any comments or feedback, suggestions down below. I'll see you guys later.